All right. So I guess the first question that I would have for you really is, um, I didn't realize, I don't know, s stupidly, I feel like I didn't realize how much you and Alan have worked together. And I really enjoyed how much of Alan's work deals with the dynamic of family. I just started here and now the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I never got a chance to watch it when it was first out. Um, did this feel more personal for you? Sort of talk to me about maybe what conversations you guys had about uh, the importance of family with Uncle Frank. Uh, you're asking if it's personal to me. Uh, I know it's a bit personal to Alan. Right. Because he's from <laughs> I know that. Um, no, it's it's actually not very personal to me. I have, I have to be honest. A lot of people automatically think that it is, but it's mm. not. Um, sorry to disappoint, but uh, no. no, it's just a role that came across. Came, you know, he presented it to me, and I kind of liked it. Mm -hmm. And we felt it to make it interesting and not just the sidekick of Frank, because that would be kind of corny and not and uninspired. Mm -hmm. uh, it was important to have a Muslim character, I thought, uh, mm -hmm. and as somebody who is religious, meaning he does, you know, he has faith, he prays, but nevertheless, he's a homosexual and that the mm -hmm. two could coexist. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so, uh, so that was uh, an interesting character for me to play because I normally do not cast in characters who are sort of... Uh, kind or nice and have certain levity about their behavior so that was that was i thought yeah why not let's do that i'm normally more attracted to characters that are like tormented and have like this <laughs> whatever uh but this was kind of interesting and fun to do you know okay so, yeah <laughs> i mean i will say that i i really love the like I mean, Wally's always like smiling. He's always, um, right. he has like a a real genuine curiosity about him, which I really thought was really warm and really special. Sure. Um, and I think that's why audiences are really connecting with him. Um, and I actually feel like we don't, sort of like how you mentioned, I don't think we do see a lot of you know, gay characters that are religious. I feel like it's, if we talk about uh, gayness and religion, there's usually a lot of like, boom, boom, boom. Like it always, yeah. like I'm so exactly. tortured about my religion. So yeah, um, exactly. um, what do you think Wally misses most about his family? Well, I mean, I'm sure Wally has a tremendous amount of regrets in terms that he cannot come out to his family the way mm -hmm. we understand it in this Western culture that to develop a close relationship with anyone, you would need to come out to them and be 100% sort of naked in front of them in terms of who you are. And what's interesting is that Wally still have a close relationship with his brother and his mother, even though he's not out to them. So he's aware of the limitations of his family members. And I think that's kind of interesting and it makes him a little bit more noble because pain does create no nobility and the fact that he has this pain in his life that he could never be just the random American guy in terms of coming out to my family and my family needs to know about my sexuality he has to live with that and I think that that sort of gave him more depth and gave him more uh, sort of uh, nobility of character if you will and how he is of service to other people who are capable of taking this journey that he can take, thus Frank. And that's why he keeps on pushing him towards his family and coming out to his family and they would accept you, blah, blah, blah. I think, uh, I think that's a bit of a self-sacrifice in a way mm -hmm. on his part. I don't know if my answers are interesting. You don't seem to be. <laughs> I, I, I know, I'm just listening. By the no. of my answers, but that's not happening. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I don't know. There's, I find something that's so interesting about the film is there can be, you know, there can be tremendous sadness and there is, um, especially like towards the end of the film. But I, I feel like there's something about, uh, there's something about 
Wally that really helps, you know, sort of overcome that, not just for Frank, but I sort of, I admire that about, about Wally, that he is able to, you know, be so separated from his family. And we can tell that it's very important to him, like the scene where you, you call your mother and you wake her up and um, sure. you're just, you know, there's, there's a lot of love there. And I, and I, uh, I do think that is a, a really, you know, sad thing because he is so far away and there's obviously a lot of pain yeah. there, but, um, you know, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was curious about how much responsibility do you think Wally puts on himself to like observe Frank's behavior? Because when I was rewatching some of the scenes, there was like early in the party scene after <laughs> Wally meets Beth and I think Frank and Wally are in the bedroom alone together and he says something about yeah. like, oh, where were you? Oh, I was smoking pot with so-and-so. And I uh, wondered if like Wally took it upon himself to be more of like a like a hovering presence around maybe some of Frank's behavior and as maybe if that created any sort of strain on their relationship. Well, of course. I, I think they've been together for about 10 years or more and I mm -hmm. think Wally Frank deteriorating and you know his addictive tendencies and behavior it's something that he just thinks it's destructive and self-destructive as well and uh so one of my favorite scenes is like in the hallway when he goes you know I can smell the alcohol and I'm not going to go down this road with you anymore this is it so you'd better wake up I mean this behavior is just intolerable it's just very destructive and I'm not going to put up with it anymore so he has this kind of firm love towards Frank because he's been through um, through a lot together. They've been through a lot. You know, when you're in a 10 year or more relationship, it's not that easy. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you know, you <laughs> there's a lot of compromises, a lot of talk, a lot of sacrifices. I mean, it's, you know, mm -hmm. relationships are hard and it's no different for Wally and Frank. And, and uh, but Wally has committed to Frank. He's just, you know, he just loves him so much and he loves to be with Frank that he is just willing to go all the way for Frank. And I, and that's something mm -hmm. I admire about this character because, you know, other characters would just like, you know, hit the road and not care and not look back, you know, it's like, what's in it for me? And I think that has to do with his cultural background and his religion and his beliefs. Uh, and that's what fuels him to be so, uh, so much of service for Frank and anybody around him. And that's a very admirable quality. I think most of us need a Wally in their lives to flourish. Uh, yeah. Most of us should be a Wally in somebody else's life to make the world a better place. I really think he makes the, the world a better place. I really do. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, saying. he was absolutely conceived by Alan. I mean, there was something very smart about the way he sort of um, put this character in the middle of all the other characters in a, like a southern setup. I thought I think that was kind of ingenious on his part. Yeah, know? yeah, it's sort of like a uh, in the south, and I sort of like how he is very. Um, he is who he is and he doesn't, you know, um, apologize. He doesn't apologize. He doesn't make excuses. He sort of, if somebody would say something to him, um, I feel like he would have a very clear cut, very straight answer for him. Um, yeah. They had a question. Yeah. The, the minute he comes to the family and he meets them and he hugs them, I'm like, wow. Like I was looking up at the movie, you know, and I was like, who is this guy? Because he's so interesting. Like he goes and hugs them and kisses them. I mean, he has no, uh, there's no self-consciousness. There's nothing that sort of holds him back to be whoever he is and whoever he wants to be in life. And, and that's, that's, that's a big deal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sort of like what you're saying with, uh, you know, you've been with people for that long. It's, I, I always think it's funny. Like I've been with my husband for like almost 11 years. So, oh, wow. um, <laughs> well, thank you. No, it was sort of like, I sort of think it's funny when, when some people, you know, like friends will say stuff like, you know, oh, you're, you are like a good couple. Like you never like 
bicker or anything at each other. I was like, oh, we do. You just <laughs> you just well, don't you like. Have to bicker. You have, of course. I feel like if anybody didn't do that, I think that would be weirder. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would be. That's absolutely. That absolutely would be weirder for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me about filming that fight scene with Paul. I rewatched it and I forgot how brutal it is. Like he says, he says a line that it sort of feels like a he's you know he says off the cuff, "I hate us. We're freaks." And it's sort of the way that he says that to you so quickly it comes out of his mouth. And it's so, um, it sounds like almost easy for him to say that. Um, and the words are just as violent as the the actions when you guys are pushing each other. <laughs> Tell me about like filming that sequence because it's it's really hard to watch. Um, I, I, I didn't like shooting that sequence because it was my first, the very first day of mine. Really? Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, it's just like you have to hit that note right off the bat, and um, so it was like, oh god, you know, it always is like that. I kept saying to myself, you know, that you have to shoot the last scene in the movie, the first day of your shoot, whatever. So at any rate, in that sense, it was like kind of nerve wracking, but it was hard too because we were still trying to uh, find the characters and we we're still trying to find ourselves in this dynamics. And it was like the first location of shooting and the DP was dealing with his equipment. So it, it was a rough shoot. I remember that. And, you know, we had a hard out for Sophia because, you know, they get certain amount of hours they could work if she was mm -hmm. 17, I think. Uh, so we were just hurrying and, you know, we're, but, you know, Paul is doing his work and I'm doing my work and it, it's fine. <laughs> But the, the physicality of it was kind of harsh because we felt very much banged up the next day. I mean, it was it was pretty gnarly, you know, all yeah. these bruises got the next day. Um, but in terms of dramatically speaking, I mean, you know, we had done our homework. We know exactly where Frank is at this point. We know where Wally is at this point. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so they, we didn't have like sort of acting issues or anything like that it was mostly physical most, mostly production sort of mm -hmm. uh, production wise uh, challenges and difficulties that sort of we bump into as opposed to like sort of artistic or creative question because the work had been done you know you, you have yeah. to be ready you have to be ready and we both were ready apparently so that was good <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a rough first day my god like you're gonna like the worst lover score uh quarrel you can possibly think of go <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. you know he flips i mean it's just like uh, frank is like at the end of it and it was like it was you know it's hard it's yeah. hard to look at like that you know mm. like like frank like you know sometimes i feel like god he's so fucking obnoxious like <laughs> wake up you know but you know Addiction is a disease. I mean, it's just a disease, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you brought up Sophia, who mm. I love in this movie every time. I mean, I will admit I've seen the movie like four times. Um, I, I, <laughs> I've, I've watched it a, a few instances and every time I watch it, I'm very impressed with her, her performance. She's, a, you know, she does things in a very subtle way that I think I pick up on something new every time I watch it. And I was sort of wondering, I love how eager Wally is to ride in the car with Beth. And I was wondering if maybe you could tell me what do you think he was most excited about just to get a little like, little well, he, just, he just wanted to get to know Frank and Frank's family through a different uh, person than Frank, obviously. So she's the first relative he meets uh, of Frank after all mm -hmm. these years been with Frank. So that's in and of itself is like a big excitement event for him. And the fact that mm -hmm. she's a girl and very receptive and very open, that was like the cherry on the cake, as they say. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, I mean, uh, it felt very natural. I would have done that too, actually, come to think of it. But, yeah. uh, but uh, you know, uh, me and Sophia, I mean, hit it off right off the bat and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun doing the scenes with her. We, we had a lot of fun. We, we really did. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying that because like every actor says that, no, but I mean, we really did. She'd tell yeah. you the same, you know? 
Um, so that was that was what made the movie fun is her presence because she's just uh, very young and and open and beautiful and that face I just have to look at her face and then do nothing you know yeah those big like big warm eyes that she has and that really oh I I miss her I mean every time I see her I just like you know there's this bond that Mm -hmm. that over the shoot that will never go away in a way you know it's interesting that's actually kind of true like I feel like kids don't I mean she's she's what 18 19 years old in the movie I mean she's kids don't hold back they don't have that like um, yeah like that exactly. facade of you know they, exactly. they just let it out yeah um, my goodness um i sort of wanted to ask what it was sort of like to finally film that scene at the end where you meet his family because it's such a and we've sort of been talking about it the whole time the the the, the eagerness of him to meet their fa- his family um, and I feel like you have so much respect for his mother, despite the fact never meeting her before. And I assume that has something to do with Wally and the respect he has for his family and his mother. Um, but I love seeing him introduce himself to her, to Margot, and it sort of makes us feel as an audience, at least for me, that I was like, oh, this whole dark journey while the you know we're not at the finish line yet like we're on the right track like some really wonderful things can come out of this can you talk to me a little bit about um sort of making that genuine connection with his mother on camera well i mean you know if you see the character i mean he talks to his own mother over the phone and we see that there's so much respect and love towards his own mother right so automatically Mm -hmm would translate over to Frank's mother because Frank is the closest person to him and therefore mm-hmm. his mother is the closest person to him. Uh, so that was like a no brainer for me to figure to figure that thing out, right? So uh, I honestly, like there's no magic to it. It's just like, you know, uh, Mark was sitting <laughs> action. <laughs> I just did this scene. <laughs> And who doesn't like who doesn't light up as soon as you see Margot Martindale? Yeah, no, I mean Mark is amazing, and you know she was very receptive. She was uh, yeah, the whole thing with everybody. I have to say, and I know you hear that all the time, maybe, but they, there were no problems at all. Each person, each actor knew what they were doing, what their job was, and we just sort of laid it off uh, the other person. And um, and they would Mar- Margot had this like sort of matriarchal presence in the part and she's like the southern <laughs> mom she, she sat that part and you know i just had to look at her and and uh, play off that and you know all this respect and he had heard about the southern ways and he kisses her hand i mean those are th- those were all me actually uh like the actor it's not uh-huh. in the script like just kissing her hand as a, as a gesture of respect and appreciation that you brought this jewel into life. You brought Frank to the world and you brought him to me. So there's this enormous amount of, of uh, adulation and, and, and respect to such an amazing uh, mother, you know, as well as, you know, I told Alan, I think he would, he would run to a New York shop and get her a bracelet or something. I yeah. think him, because he would know that would be considered very, nice in the south to do something like that when you mm-hmm. first meet because he he wanted to meet them by hook or by crook whether frank right. wanted or not and he went to new york and he got a bracelet i think and we just we just put it in the script right there and he said you know i got you something from new york you know and he's like so <laughs> sweet and, and you know just because he wants to be a part of frank's family so bad because yeah. there's no way that he could be a part of his own family the same way he could be a part of this family due to many reasons, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's what the, the stakes were high for Wally. I mean, yes, he loves Frank and everything, but they were high for him as well as a character. His yeah. own, his own, uh, not just survival, his own like sort of to thrive in his life with Frank, he needed to be very close to his family, particularly his mother. I think the stakes were very high for him and he mm-hmm. 
the minute he comes in and he's like laughing and smiling and like <laughs> go, you know as if he's at the zoo or something you know as if he, <laughs> you know uh, so 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 that's you know the, yeah so that's that's what i have to say i guess about it yeah okay sorry <laughs> Jula. i love how sort of like you know uh you know just the little interactions that you have uh with her it's just sort of like finally we get to see these like two worlds colliding and it's just you know it's like it's gonna be okay like it'll be exactly it'll be, it'll be fine and there will be some ugliness and uh some some really you know some people aren't agree with everything so i i i thought the ending of the movie i loved how truthful and sweet and and honest it was and um it's sweet i mean it's a feel-good movie it's a sweet movie we we were arguing about this third act and whether you know we need to see that but i thought yeah of course we do i mean you know i mean i was a producer on the movie too so Mm -hmm. i was just of course we do i don't want to end up with frank at the grave i mean that's like such a uh, like such a downer you know what Mm -hmm. i mean I mean, yeah, Frank had his first love and whatever, but that's a crush. That's like when you discover your life, you're discovering life. But his true love is Wally. Mm-hmm. His true love is Wally, this guy who sticks to him. You know. Like, I was actually a little. I was a little surprised by maybe not by how much he he. Uh, you know, I feel like in a different movie, Wally wouldn't know about like Sam or something. I, I was sort of. Uh, you know, I, I love that that is in there and that's different. Um, I don't know. And I, I sort of feel like we do have enough, <laughs> we have enough queer tragedy movies. I mean, there's a, like, exactly. whether, exactly. I mean. <laughs> you want it to be a happy movie, not like another person dies or the gay character dies and then it's tragic. Their lives is tragic. Yeah. Oh my God. No, it's not. It's just part yeah. of life to anyone. You know, life goes on. And there are a lot of great things about, it. you know, it's like, oh, Sam, the unrequited love, you know, I mean, they, we romanticize things that yeah. could have been something, but it just didn't. And that's, you know, that's just human, right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, love is maturity, too, is, is, is you know, love is longevity, love is uh, tenacity and, and mm-hmm. all of these things it's not just a crush it's not just like ah, i'm feeling something <laughs> you know i mean that's nice but it's yeah that's not true love that's not really love you know when i also feel like love is also something like uh you know frank and frank can dish it out to wally and wally can throw it right back at him like there's that that line where you say something about like are you, he says to you are you an idiot and you're like yeah i must be i'm with you and i was like that is really that right there, that is <laughs> that is like marriage or whatever marriage it's, is. Yeah. That's marriage, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that might be all I have for you, Peter. Thank you so much. I just love the movie so much. I remember seeing it oh, when it when it first came out. And I was like, oh, I really, really like that. And then when I started rewatching it, I was just like, damn, this movie is just really freaking okay. good so so thank you so much have for you your talk, time have you talked to sophia or paul or anybody else um yeah i talked to both of them um oh good are, yeah, you talking talk- to, are you talking to anybody else any other actor on the on the movie um i talked to some of the people in the production like i talked to the production oh. designer and she was really cool oh, um yeah. i think someone else when the movie first came out already spoke to alan um, so yeah, I, I've been fortunate enough to speak with a good amount of people and I'm really glad. Oh, I, good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So well, nice uh, meeting. Yeah, you too. Um, stay All safe right. and have a good rest of your day. You too. Thank Thanks. you.